Alright. The Eye of the Tempest. Born of the darkness, buried deep within a broken Lady Benedicta, the Eye of the Tempest is an uncontrollable vortex of immense proportion, fed solely by Garuda's raw fury. Sounds pretty cool. Let's do it. The Eye of the Tempest. Huh. There he is, huh? Oh shit. Clive. Was that the dominant? The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Look out! Dead? Shit. Sure. And so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! Forgive me. Well, at least they'll be safe. And it's while he's just standing there, awakening. Where did he go? Good question. That music though, you hearing this? Hey, it's Garuda's theme from 14. Holy shit. Okay, not gonna lie. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> Not enough to change underwear, but give me a little jump. This is <laughs> this is amazing. Look at this, man. How is this real? I'm inside a freaking tornado, dude. You, you know, okay, I, I have to be this guy, right? Every time I play a game like this. Every five to ten years, I play something that's just, like, revolutionary to me. I ask myself, how could a game look any better than this one does now? I can't wait to see what they do with, like, Final Fantasy 20, you know? Like, jeez, man. I found you. Kind of fire just died. Okay. With 
the dominant or whatever. Oh shit. This is amazing. Takedown. Larger enemies will become partially staggered when their wall gauges are reduced to 50%. Using Garuda's Deadly Embrace on a partially staggered enemy will topple it. Getting intense. Oh, so. I see. This is like avoid the AoE phase. Clive. Oh, <laughs> damn.
All right, I am. Uh... Ah, I am in love. That's a lot of sharp fangs. Let's go. Get off my sword, nerd. Probably like, why is the tornado still going? I knew it. I knew it couldn't be that simple. Awaken Ifrit. Good God. Okay, so Clive is Ifrit. Little confused. Need more info. Embodying Ifrit controls for Ifrit are as follows. Melee attack, ranged attack, evade. Circle can be used to charge an enemy covering great distances in a short period of time, as well as dealing damage if the enemy is struck. All abilities while embodying Ifrit can be confirmed on the abilities tab. Square. Up to three attacks. Hummel. Use square immediately after following a melee combo to deliver a powerful finishing blow. Triangle to launch a gout of roiling flame. R1. A dodge. As well as withstand and breaks through certain attacks. Damn.
Damn. Wait, you can't just lift me up. Let me go. Ah, uh, you bitch. Damn. This is insane. Oh shit, she sliced my arm off, man. <laughs> Spirit bomb. happening anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna melt her? That works. <laughs> oh my god. That was a lot. <laughs> that was amazing. All right. Let's continue.
Wind shard. Okay. Okay. Damn. I mean, rest in peace, FPS, but at the same time, still amazing. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! I wouldn't do that, Sid. Please don't do that. Ah, uh, don't make me fight Ramu also. is your problem. <laughs> Bloody mess this. No doubt. Why is he coughing up blood? Is it killing him to transform or is it the smoking? Is he constantly smoking a cigar? Does he have like lung cancer? Like what's happening here? Jason, it was inside you all along. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, Benedicta. to listen to him. Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? Kind of sad, but at the same time, kind of not, because she made her choice sometime later. Bellinus Tor. Oh, shit. King is bold, but desperate. 
Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Hey, what's happening here? Grigor's breath fill your wings. Bahamut versus Odin, huh? It's Bahamut! The prince is with us! Did he just say, fuck it, it's time for lunch, or what? Like, what happened? We form the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. Spread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What of my father? His is radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. But it's of no matter. The emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Wait, why am I locked up? It was me. I killed Joshua. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. <laughs> Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster, and I deserve to die. So end it, end it, please, please. Ah! Shit. I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first. I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. Why was he so naked and chained up? You see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. 
<laughs> I mean, it's tragic that it seems like he killed I'll Joshua, but... See you in hell. All right, let's uh, let's do some reading, yeah. Uh, an imperial bearer turned deserter who joined forces with Sid to hunt down the second dominant of fire. However, after being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, dominant of Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awakens within him, and he discovers that the dominant of fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other but himself. By a respected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860 when imperial forces attacked the rosarian stronghold of phoenix gate clad in infernal flame the fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before its reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that its dominant was none other than clive rosfield That's rough. There's, there's more to it. There has to be more to it. Like, how was there a second what icon of fire? Wages of guilt. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a lock. Okay. May as well hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Why was I in there to begin with? I toggle. I see I'm busy here. What do you want? Storm cry, huh? Like Iconomaki Book of Gales thirteen thirty two. So spurred by her cries did wind become storm. Craftable item. Dark Sash, Steel Crown. It'll plus three health. Do I think that means anything? It lost you a good while. Oh, there, you can't. Thirty one and four. Thirty three and four. Dark Sash, Wolfskin. Hmm. I don't know, because like the health doesn't really Three points of health isn't going to make any bit of difference, to be honest. No scratches, right? Dark sash. Not bad, if I do say so myself. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. Anything else? That's a weird looking sword. Rising flames will damage by ten percent. Huh. 
Huh. I don't think this really makes a big difference. I'm gonna take that off and put uh, rising flames there. Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Gold work sash. Metal chains. Breath of wind. Rook's gambit. Reduces Rook's Gambit cooldown by 2.7 seconds. That's expensive. I don't think I'm going to buy potions. I think you kind of find them often enough. I would say. Maybe. I don't know. Let's sell this. I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Oh, I reckon I can. Oh. Is that all? That's it. Arcade mode. Replay any previously cleared stage and be awarded a score based on performance. Restrictions on level gear consumables are applied. Gameplay mode will default to action focus. Stage reap. That's kind of cool. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, oh, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one who's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. I mean, whoever it was, was a real person. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. I have my stuff together. Although, I probably should go update the tomes. This old soul be of service? I have a few new notes that might interest you. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. The Valisthean calendar. Uh, the dating system used throughout the twins, which marks the years of the realm, the Asked since the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. Aegis. Dating back to antiquity, the term Aegis has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. Aegis are capable of casting potent magics and corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Gav. Since faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. 
the hooded man a mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire Clive first saw him at Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial invasion and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother to Clive's eternal chagrin he has proved otherwise yeah but he's somebody and he can use fire so what the hell you know Uh Battle of Bellinus Tor. Battle of Bellinus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Soundbreak and the Kingdom of Walud in the year 873. Alright, so it's still all in the same year that this has happened. Having lost vital territory to Sambraqua forces eight years earlier in the Battle of the Twin Realms, the Waluders launched an assault on the eponymous peak looking to regain a foothold in the imperial lands on the opposite side of the strait of otha both sides fielded their icons and in the ensuing showdown between odin and bahamut an entire sanbraqua legion was lost and the waloders regained their outpost on storm person of interest What was left of Benedict's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind within which she was at last which she was at last to lose her life at the hands of Clive Rosfield and his Ifrit and his icon Ifrit. Dion Lesage, leader of the Dragoons, the most elite warriors of the Holy Empire of San Brick, who are the first to leap into the fray when the Empire finds herself under threat, often literally. Dion is also the dominant of Bahamut, Warden of Light. Barnabas Tharamir. Kingdom of Walud and dominant of Odin, the Warden of Darkness. At the Battle of Bellinus Tor, he not only took personal command of the royal army, but rode into the fray himself, galloping through the air atop his six-legged steed and goading Bahamut into a duel that shook the skies. Aaron. She wears a glass eye in her right eye socket. Okay. Oots. Apprentice to Karen, an ally of the hideaway, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone, but is not afraid to put his foot down in the face of injustice. Oots's every waking moment is spent in service to his nan, and he can do little of his own he can do little of his own accord without her express permission. Quentin, attendant to Margrace, servant of a man who goes by the name Lord Margrace. Together they travel across the twins to some unknown end. Right. Attendant to the Crown Prince. Second in command of the Dragoons, the foremost fighting force of the Holy Empire of Sunbreak. His sword remains ever at the ready should anyone be foolish enough to make an attempt on the life of his liege lord, Prince Dion. Gerolf. Second in command of Walud's royal intelligencers serving under Benedict Harmon, killed by footpaths. Yep, saw that. So it's hideaway. Okay, Lost Wing, cool. Air Norvent. The Hanged Man. Norvent Valley. Orbell Downs. Eye of the Tempest. Okay. Talking a lot about the Battle of Bellinus Tor. Royal Knights of Elude, Royal Intelligencers. I mean, they're pretty much all dead. And land. Bandits. Yeah, it's hard to believe that bandits killed, like, the whole, the whole, like, the whole 
band of intelligencers for the uh, for the army. Okay, I'm not all right. everything you needed. Uh, yeah, for now. I think I'm mostly caught up. Let's take a look at the orchestrating rules. Ooh. I like this. Sound of silence, let's hear that. Is that literally just silence? This is a joke? Yeah, it's just turning off the orchestrion. That's dumb. Yeah. Journey to King's Fall, huh? I know I could just open the world map at any point, but walking to the exit of the hideaway makes it feel more immersive to me, I guess. The King's Fall. Here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and bournes converge into a single resplendent cataract where a bygone king is said to have lost both life and kingdom. Ooh, pretty. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. You know what? I, I, I take it back. I, I still don't think it was him that killed his brother. I don't believe it. Somehow or another there's two Ifrits. Or this guy that we're chasing this dominant somehow like i don't know he can manipulate people or he took over clive or something something else is going on here you know hey boy good boy this is stupid i'm the dominant of fire we sent galvin a wild goose chase Spiders. Damn, look at this shit, dude.
remember to cut this part out. That's pretty badass. Good boy. I guess I have to go down there, yeah. Come on, Torgal. Ah, you have to look away so you can teleport over. Makes sense. What the fuck is that? What now? Oh shit. Minotaur? Yeah! <sighs> 
Give them all you've got, boy. <laughs> Figured I'd let Toril finish him off. I gave him the sick command. Minotaur main. And lo, did Sir Crandall strike the main from the beast and rob him of his strength. All right. Pretty neat. Pretty much about the same as fighting the Gigas, but yeah, fun. Combat's very enjoyable. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Damn, dude, Clive's really taking this uh, taking this hard. I mean, can't really blame him, you know. But I, I still, I still don't, I still don't believe that it was him, you know. I can't believe it. Ah, another one. Huh? This guy just won't die. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I don't... Bro, what the fuck, man? Better already. Jesus, dude. It's like, at certain parts, I really felt like I was out of his hitbox and I kept getting knocked back. That's alright. No big deal. Oh shit. Gav! Crystal Prelude? Who goes there? This one's a dessert! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice. the hell? A dragoon? Oh, and a dragon.
This is kind of wild. <laughs> Since when can these bastards fly? I think Dragoons have kind of always been able to do that. Aerial Link. Used in crafting. Okay. To be fair though, he put up a hell of a fight. Props. Come on. Oh shit. Damn. I've got you. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. Oh, shit? You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? There was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep smoking my cigar, you know? One thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> See, I... Don't thank me. Thank God. <laughs> Fair. 
Thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. The hell? We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. <sighs> yes, I know it's Joshua. I knew it. I knew it a long time ago, but should I even said it in the demo? I he think. Must be stopped. He must be. Wait, maybe it's not Joshua. Maybe, okay, hear me out. If it's not Joshua, maybe they had twins and sent one of the twins away in secret and nobody knew about it, possibly. Or maybe, and, uh, what's her name? Anna Rosfield or, or whatever the hell? Uh, the mom of Clive and Joshua? Maybe she had a baby with somebody else. Maybe she, you know... And she gave birth to another dominant or something. I don't know. Could be could be lots of stuff. Really, really hard to say. I I, I yeah. I knew I knew that was Joshua. I knew that was Joshua, or I was pretty sure it was him, because the nose was the same, the mouth was the same. And yes, you can tell like if this part of the face is covered, this the the bottom half of the face looked the same. And it seemed like he said, I failed you. Right? I failed you as in I promised to keep father safe and to do my duty and I failed something or I found you, you know, just kinda interesting. I guess we'll see. Have to play and see. Volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Are? Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? <laughs> All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. As... Is it the infirmary? <laughs> Is it the Moogle? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Does it speak? Well, here I am, so drink it in, Koopa. Oh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. He knows the stuff, but what he doesn't know is that the nectar is that nectar the bold. Nectar, you say, Clive. You understand Moogle tongue, Koopa? So it would seem. Finally. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here, but none of them understand a word I say. That sounds. Painful. Now you're here, my pom pom safe at last. You can hear me. You can actually hear me, Koopa. 
Nice, I'm sure he'll come into play later. He'll probably have like side quests or something. What's in the Arete Stone now? Nothing. Let's get this fixed before someone. Oh, hello. Her hair's all white. Wasn't it black earlier? It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. He saved my life. Well... After nearly taking it. Yeah. I had no idea. I was gonna say. Forgive me, but... How did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. Yeah. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Damn. This is not going to be an easy conversation to have. It was me. I killed Joshua. No. That's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. Yes. What did he say? We have found you? We have found you. Okay, well, I found you, we have found you. What, what do you mean, mean we? Yeah, what do you mean we? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... <sighs> All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. 
We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. <laughs> uh, sorry. Right, right, right. Just love interest things. See you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Let's get this fixed before someone doesn't. Fall. We're looking at half a dozen. All right, we got some side quests to do here. Oh, is it time to deliver more food? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. Nice. I doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna do it for no coin. Okay. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Party meal. A simple yet sustaining dish of boiled eggs and spelt bread. Spelt? Lovingly assembled by the hideaway's resident mealsmith. Enjoy. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running after the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Tell me Chocobo stink. up dude back so soon fancied another kip in the cells did you get a semi he thought you might be hungry he wasn't wrong the way my guts been growling i'd have curls running scared <laughs> guard duty down here can't be much fun it's not but sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Uh-huh. I wonder why they locked Clive up anyway. Maybe he was just going freaking ballistic, like, the sheer rage and, and anger when they brought him back to the hideaway, so they locked him up for a little while till he calmed down. Does your appetite still elude you? 
Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Can we really do with a proper place to train? We're looking at half a dozen. <laughs> Isn't the Moogle funny? Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Quest complete. Okay. That's something at least. Gill bug. Alright. Bohumo, chief botanist. You, newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Uh, all right. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. I wonder if I could just go. Oh, I can. How about that? I'm on my way. Someone's in trouble. Crafting items. The 
you hurt. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, I, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. All right, now I have to find soil. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Quest destination nearby. That should be enough. Damn. I better get it back to the hideaway. We done did it. There you are. And all safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. <laughs> what a dick. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. Just our phone number. <laughs> I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Wow. That was not a rewarding experience for me. I mean, you know, reward-wise. I still enjoyed it somewhat. Alright. Uh, well, now that we've done pretty much everything else, let's uh, talk to Karen here. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Gaia Blade, huh? 
While common on the southern continent, worship of the land itself as a deity is almost unheard of in Velisthea. That, however, has not stopped the import of fine steel blades blessed by Gaian presbyters under the claim that they are deadlier and more durable than those forged in the twins. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll buy one. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Old work sash. Now, everything I have is pretty much still good. Reduces works gambit cooldown time by 2.7 seconds. Eh. Cannot find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Okay. Off you go. Let's go see. Say thank you to Gav too. We'll do that. Well. So will it be? I don't know. What can I do here? Okay, I can. I guess the purple weapons you can't. I'm gonna hold on to all purple weapons. I think those are unique and untra well, unique and untradeable. Uh, craft. Reinforce, yeah, because I already own a Gaia Blade. Let's make a Gaia Blade plus. And? Wait, I'm confused. What is the attack on my... That's 140, okay. Make it quick. What do you want? You can thank me later. I blade plus two. My best work, but it'll do. That it. I'm fine. A weird looking sword. <laughs> what does it say about this one? Well, I mean, I, I guess I already read it, but I'm curious if it said anything about what type of sword this would be. I got flat. Is this would this be a bastard sword? I'm not sure. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Yeah. Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Oh, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready. 